it's Monday. It's time to open the boxes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I made it two weeks. I did. I'm so happy. Uh, so welcome to another Monday mail call. And it is Monday. And I'm going to get this out on Monday, darn it. So um, as you can see, scattered about my work desk is the 1941 Scharnhorst, which I am doing a kind of an in-depth video unboxing slash review even maybe a little bit. Um, it's going to be something bit different, so hopefully it's going to take me a little longer to do this one than some of my others though, so please be patient while I am working on it. Uh, but let's see what we got in from Peoples. And I am going to make an announcement at the end of this video about um, an event we're going to be having with our TeamSpeak. Um, if you don't know what TeamSpeak is, it's an online VoIP, voice over IP system. Uh, so it's a little, little bit like um, Skype or Raid Call or now, um, what's the new one called? Uh, it's, it's a bad word for something. Uh, I can't think of it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but, but TeamSpeak is a voice over IP system where people can go online and basically uh, connect to a voice over IP server and they're in a room kind of like a chat room usually and they can move around between chat rooms usually it's used for gaming uh, it's very popular for people to play video games so that they can meet up with their buds and then play some game you know that might support a voice in the game but not very well obviously so TeamSpeak does a much better job of like giving you quality voice uh, while you're playing and it doesn't it does it a lot less of a overhead kind of thing now, where would it come into to use for, for scale modelers? Well, I don't know, actually. Um, it's never been done before. But I'm kind of imagining that you could have a scale modeling room where guys hang out and they're building their models at the same time talking to people about building their models or about whatever, World War II history, blah, blah, blah. Now, there is a bad side to this. When people are online through TeamSpeak building models, they're not on internet sites. Hmm. Anyways, I'm willing to, I'm willing to risk it. Um, but, so what I'm going to do is some kind of event on our TeamSpeak, uh, probably giving some kind of models away or something. Basically, I'm trying to like bring in the first demo test, my, my, my alpha user group, alpha test use, user group, because we really haven't had anybody on trying to use it at all. I think occasionally I see somebody up there who's, who's kind of stumbled in from our, our links on our main site. But, the, the TeamSpeak generally has about um, 0 to 15 people on it uh, at any given time. A lot of people from uh, Europe, we have a couple of guys I game with who bring in their friends and so forth. So there are people on there, but they're mostly all on there for playing uh, PC games or video games. Um, so the modeling area stays fairly uh, free, of, free of peoples. It's up at the top of the room selection. Um, it's pretty easy to set up for the most part. I do have instructions on the website. If you go to Kitmaker, you'll see a either a TeamSpeak or a chat a tab up at the in the top tabs. So it's fairly prominent up in our tab area. But uh, that you click on that, it'll give you just like basically how the instructions of how you set it up. You set it up once and you're done. You, next time you log in, everything should be fine. You just keep you know using it from that point. But obviously, you do have to download the program and install and so forth. So I want to entice people to do this. So I'm going to give away some stuff. And I'm not supposed to be talking about all this now. I'm supposed to wait until the end of the video. But we'll wait till the end of the video if you're interested. And I will tell you all the, the details and all that stuff. Because I haven't even decided when that's going to be. All right. From, we got something from Battlegate Games. Comes in a nice little, nice little tin here. Very cool. And I'm going to have to use some cutters, it looks like, to open the tin. Because it has lots of tape over it. Um, but these are figures, I believe, I want to say. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, that's not tape. It's like Sarani wrap stuff. Oh, no, it's tape. It's tape, but it's coming off. Well, I say that, and I end up with tape all over my hands. All right, let me cut it. So everybody have a good weekend, I hope. It's gotten rather hot here. It's over. It was over 105 degrees here the last several days. Okay, so... They are not actual figures, they, but they are things for figures or, or uh, vehicles and so forth. And there are things like, like this weapon looks like a Lapua actually, but I'm not really sure. I'm just, Lapua is, a, is an actual round, not a gun, but a, a gun that would fire a Lapua round. Um, and not sure what that is, some kind of assault rifle. But you can see they're very, very 
small and fine, more kind of like a uh, another company, which I'll not name because I'm sure the person with Battle 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 Battlegate Games does not want me to mention their competitors. But we'll be covering these on uh, reviews. If you're interested in doing like a potential build-up review for something like that, actually showing it in use with a figure kit, vehicle, whatever. Um, once I get them all listed, or uh, I might do these as a group, obviously, since they're going to be common kind of uh, weapons and so forth. All right, so next we have another small little package. This one is from, um, I want to say Poland. Oh, it's from Aber, so yeah, Poland. And they must have sent some of their photo etch sets, which they warned us of, and metal, metal barrels and such. So, yes, we have... Uh, we have German 128mm uh, L61 barrels for anti-aircraft. Uh, this is for the Zwilling gun, probably for the TACOM Zwilling, yes. So very nice uh, metal barrels there, two of them. They're two-piece. I'm going to sneeze now. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, then we got the armament for the T10M heavy tank. This is for the uh, Mang or Trumpeter model, which is how we have the Trumpeter kit. So... And uh, that looks very nice and tasty as well. And then some other uh, barrels. We've got the US 76 millimeter uh, M M1A2 barrel for Sherman M4 series tanks, Tamiya. Uh, much smaller barrel, obviously, but very nice looking. I'm not sure these are would even qualify to be rifled, but uh, a Kagero, uh, how is it you pronounce that? Kagero or Kagero? Um, or some other variation. The uh, 6 by 127 millimeter 53rd year type, 8 by 25 millimeter. This is for uh, uh, 1/350th ships, but you can see very, very small brass guns, gun barrels. And then we have a set of BMPT Terminator barrels uh, for 135th scale. Um, and this is for the Zvezda. Again, very, very small. And the Italian 75 millimeter Obisida 75 slash 18 uh, MO 35 for Semi Vente, Semi Vente, uh, the 75 18 M40. And this is in th uh, 35th scale, of course. That's a, that's a big, that's a big one. Boom. Um, 50 cal ammunition with 52. Uh, excuse me, with M A M A one box set for US M two machine gun. Um, this looks like it's in sixteenth scale. It says sixteen oh four seven. So yeah, I think that's what that is. I mean, that's the that's the shells, right? The actual yeah. So that must be sixteenth scale. Hopefully, that's coming in fairly well. Uh, anything else? No, that was it. All right, well, so no photo apps, just a bunch of those of, of the gun barrels and things. Very nice. Uh, I have a couple of those kits. Well, at least the, uh, the T-10 and uh, the, the Tamiya, no, the Trumpeter uh, uh, T-10M. Yeah, I knew I could get that out eventually. All right, so uh, from um, a Panzer Rex, we have a new Panzer Rex or some kind of Panzer Rex derivative. So. Their tab thing you didn't want, didn't want to pull. Let me see if I can get it now. Oh, yes, I got it. Ah, yes, not Panzer X, but a a new book series or book looks like a series. In focus, in focus one, Yag Panzer thirty eight. And this is Men and Machines of World War Two by Lee Archer. Artwork by Philippe Philippe Rodna. Um, but uh, it kind of continuing in the tradition of you know Panzer X, the same format in terms of photos and such. But it looks like they have some. Thought I just passed something there that was more like an illustration. But now I missed it. There it is. Uh, so with illustrations and things in them as well. Doesn't look like very many. Uh, in fact, there's only the one there that I can see. But, uh, but yeah, obviously a focus book on that specific. Uh, tank rather than before the uh, Panzer X were about like time periods or areas of battle and so forth. So very cool. All right, let's get to some of these bigger boxes. Um, let's get on with the show, as they used to say at Ringling Brothers. 
when they had elephants. Mm-hmm. All right, looks like uh, they've sent us one. <laughs> I got a little hobby code sometimes. They sent us one model, the Lacrosse Missile. Uh, 139, 139 parts, including the combat crew of five. This is a, a renewal blueprint model slash monogram slash Ravel re-release of a 50s era kit, I want to say. Um, but yeah, for those of you who are nostalgic about old kits, there you go. That's an old one. Definitely back from the early, early, early days. And uh, what does Ravel have to say about this kit? Um, yeah, lots of information, basically. The Ravel Facebook page has over 38,000 likes. 38,000. We're only at 7,000 for Armor M anyways. We, we, we need more. Maybe we should become a manufacturer. So for some reason, kit manufacturer, they get like all, we cover like all the news for all scale hobbying. Yeah, this is a bit of a rant. <laughs> uh, um, but I just, but if you're a manufacturer, you get tons of likes. It's like I set up Ryfield Models uh, page, and I and I want them to get as many likes as they can. But it's like at some point they're gonna they're gonna exceed kit makers, and and we've been at Facebook since like the beginning of Facebook practically. So I I, I just don't get it. <laughs> I, I I don't understand. Um, people don't like us. Mm, that's, that's sad. Why why can't I open this box? This is a strange box. Has strange strange non-opening things. Oh, this must be one of those weird foldy box things. Yeah, it is. Plus model. You're always trying to make it difficult on me. That's what manufacturers do. Inventors. They just make it difficult on us. No, I, I can understand it. I mean, obviously, Tamiya and Dragon and places like that are going to have more, more interest in the kits they're putting out. But I don't know. Isn't there enough, isn't there enough room in the world to, to like multiple things and people? Eesh. There we go. All right. I shouldn't complain. There's somebody out there going, I've only got 100 likes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I wish I could remember. The pr- I can't remember his name right off the top of my head that, that runs, but I get. Thank you for sending me your trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's filling up the top of the thing. But it just feels like, it's like, a, hey, there's some trash over there. Let's throw that in there. Uh, this is the only video series where the person who's getting free models will complain <laughs> to, to the vendor for sending him stuff. Uh, I mean, this is a more than likely over $100 resin kit. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm very happy to, to showcase these 4 Plus models, as, and they continue to send them. So thanks, person who I can't remember right off the top of my head your, your first name, um, who's been active on our website for like forever. So artillery tractor Pavesi P4, it's a very cool looking vehicle, P4 100 slash 30A with tires in British. Uh, this is kit number 475. The kit contains 140 resin parts, photo etched sheet, complete resin kit. But whoa, this is like an off-road vehicle before there were off-road vehicles. I mean, that's pretty cool actually. I assume this thing was used as a as a uh, as a pulling tractor over muddy terrain and th- areas where um, obviously tires and things would work better than say uh, to some degree tracks obviously or tracks might where, where, where tracks have difficulty maybe it's in the early days before there were tracked vehicles anyways point being is it's it's pretty cool looking so I, I think that'll definitely uh, a, a appeal to a few modelers who want to build something different before a, a major scale plastic modeler will go, oh, we want to make that vehicle too. These days they're like making everything. I really, I, I do feel bad about some of the resin manufacturers because they've got to like, okay, we've got like a six month window before somebody makes this kit in plastic. Uh, so we also got some rivets, uh, 135th scale rivets uh, in 0.9 millimeter and 1.2 millimeter. That's being really, really precise. Uh, I wouldn't be able to capture these unless I were to use macro photography. And sadly my macro lens is at home right now which means I can't even continue on with this work today, but uh, that's all right. I've got this video and stuff to put out. All right, metal barrels with hand carts also we got. Someone did make a suggestion, which I think is probably a good idea, that maybe I could try to set up something to like set these things on, you know, that way I can kind of show them. And I'll, I'll try to figure that out, but unfortunately right now, 
there's literally nothing I have that could do that um, because this is an open space and I would need almost like a little rolly cart thing or something so I could I could do that set it down but but it's a good idea and I appreciate the feedback uh, so this is square cans uh, looks like various uh, kind of aluminum um, cans for liquids and things you can see from the pictures there. One of them looks like a jerry can, but I think it's actually supposed to be like a, a smaller version. Um, what did the X with the circle mean? Is that water usually, I think? Or something. It's one of those things. One of those things, and I can't remember. And that's my that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. All right, the last one we got here is from Artitech, and that's going to mean something cool. And I won't pick on Artitech at all, I swear. All right, they sent us uh, more of their, are these the kit versions? Let me see, can't see through the window. Uh, more kit versions, uh, not the pre-finished version, but so this is the Sherman Firefly VC, uh, and 187th scale, so HO scale, as well as the 187th scale Humber Scout car. And they also sent the Panzer IV F1 F2 in 187th HO scale. Now, if you haven't seen any uh, previous like reviews or, or unboxings on these, they are very, very detailed resin kits. Uh, they build up, uh, they sell these as finished models as well as resin kits. Uh, here's some more modern vehicle, the BRD M109A3G in 187th scale. Uh, here's the, the resin. Can see through on this one but uh, really high quality good stuff definitely uh, if you're a small scale builder uh, braille scale um, this has got to be some a manufacturer that uh, you'd probably be interested in and this is just the BRD M109G so basically the same picture and lastly we have the M109A2 US UK NLB is B for Belgium, I guess? Netherlands, Belgium. So. And, um, yeah. Thanks to Arctech for sending those along. So, definitely make those available. Excuse me. We'll make those available for um, builds uh, or uh, built reviews, I think. Unbox, you know. Uh, inbox reviews, not so. I mean, they are still worthy of an inbox review, but. I don't know. Well, give us your give us your your suggestions for content, and we will, of course, uh, consider them. Um, they sent us their their 20, 2016 catalog, uh, which has just tons of stuff. I mean, this company has literally like a lot of product range. Um, I mean, I even guess they've released most major armored everything basically with this many products. We're talking about this is a twenty thirty. 32 pages catalog so all righty well um that pretty much uh, sums up the 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 mail call portion of the video so again i'll just uh, continue on with the, the team speak uh bit uh, so yeah I, I just basically want to try to organize either a, a time period like a week or something i haven't quite decided what i'm gonna do yet. that's why there will be a, a a team speak contest video that'll probably come out just keep an eye out for it if you're interested but but yeah i'll, I'll probably be giving away some kits and uh, or I will be giving away some kits uh, for that contest. And uh, we'll see if we can't get something started to where you guys either, if you enjoy using it, you, you know, it's, it's just be a resource for you. Um, obviously, it, it costs me. I've been paying for this TeamSpeak for a while and mostly just been using it for my own personal like gaming use, but uh, with a, a, the occasional uh, person coming on there um, that's model related. But uh, it's mostly been a PC war machine thing. But, or if you're a gamer and you just want, if you want somewhere to go on TeamSpeak, then uh, if you're already familiar with TeamSpeak or using it, you can definitely add us to the list of TeamSpeaks that you have at your disposal. So, um, with that, pretty much probably covers everything for this week. Thanks for waiting the two weeks, and uh, I'm sure we'll get some more stuff, and that'll probably be soon, I think. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll see you next time on Mail Call.